I was always careful about the guys I dated. I never wanted to be in a toxic or abusive relationship, but somehow I ended up with him, Ryan. At first, he seemed like the perfect boyfriend. He was charming, kind, and always knew how to make me smile. But as time went by, things changed. Ryan became possessive, controlling, and abusive. I knew I had to end it, and so I did. That was my mistake. I should have known better. I should have known that Ryan wouldn't take it well. He started calling me, texting me, showing up at my house uninvited. I told him it was over, but he wouldn't listen. He begged me to take him back, promised that he would change. But I had made up my mind. I couldn't be with someone who treated me like that. One day, as I was walking home from school, Ryan pulled up beside me in his car. I tried to ignore him, but he got out and grabbed me by the arm. Before I knew it, I was in the back seat of his car, tied up and blindfolded. I knew then that I was in serious trouble. Ryan took me to an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town. I could hear his footsteps as he paced back and forth, muttering to himself. I tried to call out for help, but my mouth was gagged. The air was musty and thick, and the only light came from a small window high up on the wall. I didn't know how long I had been there when Ryan finally came back. He took off my blindfold and I could see the anger in his eyes. He accused me of breaking his heart, of ruining his life. He said that he loved me and that he couldn't live without me. I begged him to let me go, but he just laughed. Days turned into weeks and weeks turned into months. I lost track of time. I was trapped in that dark, dingy warehouse with no idea if anyone was looking for me. Ryan would come in every once in a while to bring me food and water to check on me. But mostly, he just left me there, alone with my thoughts. One day, I heard a noise outside. It was faint at first, but it grew louder and louder. I started to scream, to call out for help. And then, all of a sudden, the door burst open. It was the police. They had finally found me. He was arrested and charged with kidnapping and assault. I was taken to the hospital where I was treated for my injuries. It took me a long time to recover from that experience, both physically and emotionally. But I knew that I had survived and that I was stronger because of it. Looking back, I realize how lucky I was. I could have died in that warehouse alone and forgotten, but I didn't. I fought for my life and I won. And now I'll never take my safety for granted again.